The very best wireless gaming headsets can certainly keep up with the speed and reliability of their wired siblings these days. While latency hasn't really been a problem for the last couple of years, we're now starting to see those prices dropping as well. You would traditionally need to shell out around 30% more for a cordless set of headphones compared to a classic wired set. But with battery and 2.4 GHz connection tech getting cheaper, final costs are starting to dip as well. We've spent hours reviewing every pair of wireless headphones in this list, testing them with all types of music in various listening environments. We're serious about music, which means we know what makes a fantastic pair of headphones and which features you need to be listening out for. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top six wireless headphones and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, validconsumer.com. Number 6. One More Sono Flow If you want a solid set of wireless headphones in the $100 range, we recommend the One More Sono Flow. The sound is adjustable to your preference, and this set is lightweight, with foam ear cups that are soft and comfortable. The battery life of 50 to 70 hours is especially impressive for a pair at this price. The five microphones ensure that your voice sounds clear over calls, and the dual device connectivity lets you swap audio between two devices without touching the Bluetooth settings. The noise cancellation is effective, although not as superb as that of our pick for the best noise cancelling headphones. However, the ANC does not work when you use the supplied cable. So, if you're using an audio device that requires a wired connection, you'll either have to go without ANC or pick up a Bluetooth transmitter. Number 5. Sennheiser Momentum 4 Wireless These Sennheiser Momentum 4 wireless headphones are incredibly impressive. In our review, we called them excellent value for money and wrote, The adaptive noise cancellation is strong. The feature set is as exhaustive as you'll find at the level. The design is minimalist, but carefully considered, and the sound is supremely talented. They're definitely one of the best pairs of wireless headphones you can buy today, and one of the best pairs of headphones ever. Full stop. Although there are plenty of reasons why we enjoyed testing the Momentum 4 wireless, it's the battery life that stands out as exceptional, especially compared to the competition. You'll get 60 whole hours, even with ANC on. For comparison, Sony's XM4 wireless headphones at the top of this list, as well as its newer XM5s, offer only half that at around 30 hours. But we also love the crisp and detailed sound these headphones deliver. On calls, too as well as the solid ANC. The simple design was a plus in our eyes, but it might be a little basic for those who like their tech to really make a statement. Otherwise, these headphones might not be cheap, but they're still fantastic all-rounders and a great value for the money. Number 4. SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro SteelSeries has long known how to make a high-quality gaming headset, but the Arctis Nova Pro takes gaming audio to another level with its incredible redesign. The Sonar software allows for deep customization and even title-specific suggestions, including a parametric EQ. But these headphones are tuned for accurate audio right out of the box, so you don't have to worry about the details if you don't want to. Other important features also make these headphones usable around the home, including great ANC and a fit that's lightweight without feeling cheap, plus plenty of physical adjustments you can make. The retractable mic also works well. We found it sometimes picks up ambient noise, though, and won't ever get in the way. The Arctis Nova Pros have a swappable battery design that's made for switching the actual battery on the fly, so you have one on deck charging at all times. But a USB-C port does allow for on-ear charging, albeit a bit awkwardly. Two battery packs are included with the headset, which is good because battery life is lower than past SteelSeries headsets at 22 hours at only 2.4 GHz wireless and 18 hours when using 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth at the same time with ANC on. Number 3. Apple AirPods Max There are many things to love about the Apple AirPods Max, but their high price tag is not one of them, so keep an eye out for when these go on sale. That said, if you're a dedicated Apple user, these are the headphones for you. 
the Apple AirPods Max headphones have the best spatial audio of any model I've tested. The spatial audio includes dynamic head tracking, which only a few of the other headphones offer. If you're watching a movie that uses surround sound, the direction of the audio can actually change in real time as you move your head. This makes you feel as if you're in the middle of an action sequence, as opposed to passively watching it. Spatial audio works well for music, especially tunes that support the Apple Digital Master and lossless audio protocols available via Apple Music. The ear cups are coated with a breathable fabric that quickly molded around my ears, but not enough so to provide passive noise cancellation. With adaptive noise cancellation on, the headphones can almost fully eliminate outside noise. Unlike most other headphones I tested, the Apple AirPods Max uses stainless steel and mesh-covered headband that's designed to reduce clamping pressure on your head. I found this very comfortable, with the telescoping arms allowing for a perfect fit. The ear cups are made from anodized aluminum, combined with memory foam and a breathable textile covering. I discovered that this allowed for airflow that kept my ears comfortably cool without compromising sound quality during longer listening sessions. The digital crown dial on top of the right ear cup is a clever feature that let me control volume precisely, skip tracks, answer incoming calls, and activate Siri. Another button enabled the noise-canceling feature even when audio wasn't playing. I found these controls easier to use than on other headphones I tested. I also liked that the headphones let me adjust the volume directly, as opposed to via an app. If you're already an Apple user, the Apple AirPods Max are an ideal companion. They pair automatically with your Apple devices and automatically adapt the audio and noise cancellation to your environment. They work seamlessly with an iPhone for phone calls, with six outward-facing and two beam-forming microphones that virtually eliminate ambient sounds, even when you're outside on a windy day. My hands-free calls had crystal-clear audio, and I found calls easy to manage from the headphones or the iPhone. Unlike other wireless headphones, the Apple AirPods Max lacks a power button, mobile app, and manual equalizer adjustment. Uniquely, the headphones instead automatically power on when you place them on your ears, and power off when you take them off. Siri can announce some of your notifications automatically via the headphones. And if you misplace the headphones, you can locate them using the Find My app. These points all contribute to why the Apple AirPods Max provides a premium experience for Apple users over the competition. Finer design points aside, I love the Apple AirPods Max for its audio and aesthetics. Yes, you're paying an Apple tax, but it's worth it. I've had a fantastic experience using these headphones with my Apple devices. The sound quality and comfort, not to mention the extra features, makes them well worth the investment, but only if you're an Apple user. Number 2. Bose Noise Cancelling Headphones 700 While the Sony WH-1000XM5s are our favorite pair of full-size wireless cans overall, Bose steps in for calls with its Noise Cancelling Headphones 700, which we'll just call the Bose 700 from here on out. In testing, we found that the microphone on the Bose 700 consistently matched and sometimes outclassed the one built into the phone. Get ready for productive calls, as those on the other end won't have to devote precious brain power to deciphering garbled dialogue. Perfect for business users and those on frequent team calls, the Bose 700 has sufficient noise cancellation for perfect indoor conversations. They aren't exactly as good for conference calls on the go or outside, but if you're in an office, you'll love their performance when communicating with others and hearing responses clearly. The Bose 700's controls are convenient, with three tactile buttons combined with a touch interface to give you one-touch access to volume and playback functions, another benefit during conference call management. One of those buttons allows you to adjust the noise-canceling intensity on a scale from 0 to 10, or outright disable the feature altogether. There's also a button dedicated to calling up your favorite virtual assistant. The Bose 700s have the power to go as long as 20 hours when noise cancellation is engaged, and the runtime doubles to 40 hours with it off. Even if you're an unusually heavy listener, a 15-minute charge with the included USB-C cable can get you two extra hours, so you never feel the need to stay tethered. Number 1. Sony WH-1000XM5 When we saw the official pictures of the XM5, we were more than a bit surprised. 
We wondered whether it was a wise move to give one of Sony's biggest success stories in recent memory, the WH-1000XM4, a major redesign, but it's paid off. The Sony WH-1000XM5 headphones might feel a little less premium than their predecessors, which are still available at a now cheaper price, but the jump in sound quality from the previous generation is a big one, and rivals once again have their work cut out. Better call quality and improved noise cancelling, plus a better design, even if they do feel slightly less premium than the XM4, all make them a compelling buy for anyone with the funds. If you're looking for a new pair of wireless noise-canceling headphones, your auditioning should start here. The older XM4 were already the best around, and still are if you can't stretch your budget to the latest pair, but the XM5 are undoubtedly better for those who can afford to pay the premium. So that wraps up our list of the best wireless headphones. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestions for future videos, or questions you have as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our valid consumer family. We've got lots more videos coming your way. Until then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.